Hello Internet, Seth Skorakowski, and today we'll be taking a look at the Traveler Starter set from Mongoose Publishing, released in 2017 for their second edition line. Starter sets are pretty common with RPGs, a pretty box that contains a shortened version of the rules, free adventure or two, you know, just enough to whet a player's appetite and maybe convince them to pick up a copy of the full rulebook. Those who've been following my channel, I've talked about this before. Back in March, Matt Sprange with Mongoose Publishing reached out to me and they offered to send me some Traveler, a few books and a couple adventures. And I said sure, but I also told him that I'm not going to review any product that I haven't played yet and I'm not going to play any game unless I think that it's going to be a good match for my players and I. He said that he understood that and knew that it didn't guarantee it was going to get him a review if he sent it to me, uh, but he was confident that Traveler was going to win us over, so he sent us this haul of books. And I'm happy to report that Matt was right. Traveler won us over. I've now added several more books to this initial collection, and we're currently playing a Traveler campaign right now. And we promise we'll eventually review the Traveler rule system. We just got a lot more playing with it to do before we can feel confident in giving it a proper review. And among the stuff that he sent us was the starter set. I didn't know exactly why I would need a starter set. After all, I was already getting a copy of the core books. And, you know, starter sets are always just a trimmed down version of the core rules. And then I received it and I realized that that's not the case at all with Traveler. This starter set is awesome. So let's discuss it. First off, this box is pretty heavy duty. It is extremely thick and solid and clearly intended to last a long time. Uh, the cardboard is the same thickness that you're going to find in any of the hardback rule books that go with the Mongoose books, so it's pretty heavy duty and this thing is going to last you a while. Now, while I do love that the box is this heavy duty, the only issue that I see is that the lid doesn't go down all the way. It doesn't cover the full sides. And while I actually really like the way this looks with the lid kind of sitting on top of the bottom, what that means though is you can't really set the book upright or the box upright if you're going to try to put it on a shelf because it's going to it's going to tip a little bit. Not a problem, but for some people who might want to display it upright, that can be a bit of an issue, so I'm just going to go ahead and mention it. Now, opening it up, the first thing we see is a pair of D6, the ubiquitous free dice that come with all starter sets that are enclosed in a little contraband baggie. Nothing of note with these, they're just regular D6. Next, we have six pre-generated characters, and they all come with character portraits and backstories and are all rare and to go. Only thing, and this is me just being really picky here, is that some additional blank character sheets might have been pretty nice to include. After all, character creation is a complete blast in Traveler. It is my favorite character creation system that I've ever encountered. But you can download free blank character sheets pretty easily online. I just wish they had included some in here. Oh, and FYI, you don't die in character creation in Mongo Traveler. The people that keep bringing that up to us probably think there's still a Thacko in D&D or a Resistance table in Call of Cthulhu. Next comes this fold-out sector map. And this puppy is giant. 40 inches by 28 inches, allowing for 16 subsectors. Now this is the blank side. It's a double-sided map, and the blank side allows for game masters and players to populate it with all their own unique worlds and everything else they might want for their own campaign. Now the other side of this map We'll get to that in a second. Next, we get to the actual rule books. Now, the first thing that I have to point out is this red ribbon. It lets you pull the books easily out of the box. This is a great little detail here. I love it, and I wish more box sets did this. The first book is Characters in Combat, and the first thing you'll notice is that it isn't some cheap saddle-stapled quick start book. This is a proper 127-page softbound book. Inside, you'll find everything you need to build a Traveler character, and I mean everything. We have the full rules from creating stats, pre-career packages, and the full list of careers from the Traveler core book. We also get two playable races, the Aslan and the Varger, full system rules, combat, 38 pages of character equipment from weapons, armor, computers, cyber, and whatnot, and then we have a section on vehicles and vehicle rules. These aren't some shortened down version for the starter set either. These are the full rules from the core book concerning each of these topics. Next we come to book two, Spacecraft and Worlds. This is a 104 page book covering all the rules on possible environmental dangers, healing, some sample alien creatures, followed by spacecraft rules, space combat, and some sample spacecraft. We also get the psionic rules, including the psionic career package. Not entirely sure why they put the psionic rules in book two versus maybe putting it in the back of book one, but it's not a big deal and it's a pretty minor point. 
Finally, we get sections on trade and carrying passengers, and then the world creation rules so that game masters can design their own new and exciting planets to populate their campaigns with. Again, these aren't shortened down versions of the rules. These two books together are the equivalent of the Traveler Core book. Hold on a second. You said that those two books are 104 and 127 pages. It's 233 pages between them, but the Traveler Core book is 240 pages. So what's the difference between the two, huh? What's in those missing pages? Okay, there's a little bit of information that appears in the core book that doesn't appear in the two quick start books. Ha! I knew it! They are holding out on us! So what's the difference between the two? Well, the only thing that the two quick start books are missing is an 11-page section describing the Sindel subsector of the Trojan Reach that details all the planets that are found there. Okay, so the only difference between the status set and the core book is that the core book gives you a ready-made subsector to explore? That's weird they wouldn't have included that in a status set. Oh, they more than make up for it. And that's what brings us to book three, The Fall of Tinath, a 104-page introductory campaign that's composed of five adventures that all take place in the new Athwa subsector. It gives us information of all the planets in Athwa, especially over Tinath itself. We get all sorts of information about a new race of alien creatures that we encounter there, the SRA, including weapons that they're going to be fighting the player characters with and all the vehicles they'll be fighting them in. And once the campaign is done, that's when the back half of this giant fold-out map comes in. This is the full Caladan sector, which game masters and players get to fill out and explore all the space that appears around the Athwa subsector. Now, as far as the Fall of Tinath campaign itself, I'll gladly review this campaign once I've run it, but I haven't played this campaign yet, so I can't say for certain how it really is. So all I have to go by is what my initial skim and what various reviewers have said, and that's that it looks pretty good. So the Traveler starter set isn't some clipped down version of the core rules that then requires that any players who enjoyed it to go out and purchase a copy of the core rules for an additional cost. We get six fleshed out pre-generated characters, three books that contain all the rules of the core book as well as a campaign for us to run a group of players through, and we get a giant double-sided fold-out map. This isn't a status set at all. This is a full game in a box form. Exactly. I think that Mongoose Midas labeled this when they called it a starter set, because many people, including myself, were just going to assume that anything that's called a starter set is going to be containing less information than would be found in the core book. Now, as great as I think the starter set is, I do have a few criticisms for it. First, while we do get a good assortment of pre-generated characters, not all of them are human. No Oslin and no Varger, which I think was a missed opportunity. Next, while the book does contain all the same exact same rules as the core book, that also means that two of my criticisms about the core book are also going to carry over into the starter set. And that's that we could have used more examples throughout the rules, especially helping us walk us through the character creation process, and also a complete lack of index in the back of the book. Uh, we haven't needed one in our playing of Traveler. We found the rules pretty easy to follow and find our way through, so we haven't needed an index in the back of the book, but I can easily see how a lot of players and game masters out there might need and want one, so I wish they had included one in the starter set as well as in the core book itself. Now thankfully the PDF is bookmarked, so it's pretty easy to navigate that and find anything that you're looking for. Lastly, because the starter set rules are spread out between two rule books rather than just one rule book like the core book is, that means that the page numbers don't line up between them. That's not much of a problem unless you have a player in the group who's using the starter set and another player in the group who's using the core book and they're both looking for the same rule. You can't just have one player, you know, look at the other and say, oh, the rule that you're looking for appears on page 197, because the page numbers are different between the two books. It's a tiny complaint, I know that, but I'm sharing absolutely anything that I believe could be a problem for any players out there who might be interested in picking this up. Now, it does cost more than the core book, 70 bucks versus 50, and the only big difference between them is the Fall of Tinath campaign. Quick note, if you are going to be purchasing the physical books through Mongoose Direct, then you do get the PDS for free. They're also in the Bits and Mortar program, so that's pretty nice. Now, you can purchase the Fall of Tinath campaign separately as a PDF, either through Mongoose directly or through Drive-Thru RPG, so anyone who has already purchased the core book and wants to try out this campaign can still do that. So the big question is, is, is the starter set worth it? And I say yes. If you haven't already picked up the Traveler core book, it's definitely worth picking the starter set up. But if you already have the core book, I'd recommend that you only pick up the separate Fall of Tinath PDF. But as starter sets go, this one definitely exceeded my expectations. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you want to see some more of our stuff, such as how-tos and RPG philosophy, just hit that subscribe button. Till next time, travelers, you have a great day. You know, I thought that fur mantle that I was wearing in Conan was hot, but I am seriously dying inside this jumpsuit.